What we're going to do in this practice is classify each nitrogen as either basic or not basic. Now, how are we going to do that? Well, first we're going to see is there resonance stabilization. Now, will that resonance stabilization make the ring aromatic? If it will make it aromatic, it is preferred and therefore the nitrogen's lone pair will not be able to be available for being a base. So it'll be a weak base or just not basic at all. So let's just label all the lone pairs and all these nitrogens before we start. So on this one, we have one lone pair. We have one lone pair here. We have one lone pair here, another one there. Same thing with this one and this one. This one also has a lone pair. And so is this one and this one as well. All these have lone pairs. The boron does not have a lone pair. This nitrogen does, this nitrogen does. And we can even label the lone pairs on these oxygens if you want to. So there we go. So all the lone pairs have been labeled. Now let's see if they will be used for resonance stabilization. Now in this first one right here, we have four electrons in this ring structure. Now all these atoms are sp2 hybridized except for the nitrogen right now. And so it can be aromatic, but however, we only have four electrons in this ring structure. So if this lone pair is donated as resonance stabilization, and we have a lone pair, uh, a double bond there, a double bond there, and then we'll have six pi electrons in this structure. And so it will be aromatic. So this is preferred. So therefore this lone pair will not be used for being a base, but rather being used for resonance stabilization. So this will be not basic. So what about this next one? Well, this next one, same scenario. Four electrons is pi structure, all of them are sp2 hybridized. So the lone pair will be moved there, and this lone pair will be moved there, and then this lone pair will be moved there. So the ring will now have one, two, and then th uh, three double bonds. So we'll have six pi electrons, so it will be aromatic. And therefore, this nitrogen will be using that lone pair to make this ring aromatic, so the nitrogen will be not basic. Now what about this next one over here? On this next one, the ring structure right now has one, two, three, four um, pi electrons. So we want to make it aromatic. So this nitrogen is going to donate its lone pair and form a double bond here. This double bond is going to move there, and then this double bond is going to move there and become a lone pair. So we'll have one, two, and then this double bond will be right here. Three, four, five, six, five, six electrons. So it'll be aromatic. So this resonance stabilization, stabilization is preferred. So this lone pair on this nitrogen will be not basic, right? But this nitrogen over here, it never used this lone pair for anything. It's still, uh, the other lone pairs it has as a pi bond just moved within the ring. So this nitrogen right here is actually basic. It's, it has a lone pair that has not been being, that has not been used for resonance stabilization. And so it's available for abstracting a proton. Now, what about this nitrogen? Well, we have actually an sp3 carbon right here. So because we have an sp3 carbon right here, this whole thing is non-aromatic. And if we have non-aromaticity, that means there's no point in doing resonance stabilization. Now we can, however, there's no point into it. So both these nitrogen will be basic. So this one will be basic, this one will be basic. Now, since this one is conjugated and it has a double bond next to it, it might be a little bit less basic than this one. However, that won't make it much of a difference. Both of them are basic. Now, on this one right here, we have a nitrogen of the lone pair and another one, another one. Now this ring structure right now has one, two, three, four pi electrons. We want six to make it aromatic. So we can move this lone pair right here and move that pi bond over there and this pi bond over here. And we end up having a six pi electrons in this and we have a double bond right here with this nitrogen. So the lone pair on this one is not basic because it can make the ring aromatic. Now what about this nitrogen? This lone pair, well, it can be resonance stabilized. However, like if we do, it won't make much of a difference because it won't make the ring aromatic. So this one is basic. And so is this one because the lone pair on this nitrogen is not even being used for resonance stabilization. Now what about this one? Over here, we have four pi electrons in the structure. If we move the lone pair over here, move that pi bond over there, then we'll have six pi electrons in the structure. And so it will be aromatic. So this one is not basic. Now what about this next one? Over here, well, if the oxygen and the nitrogen are sp3 hybridized, then we have one, two, three, four electrons in the structure. So let's make them sp2 hybridized so we can get the electrons in. But if we do make them sp2 hybridized, then we added one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight electrons into the ring. So now we, instead of four, we have eight. However, it's still anti-aromatic. So whether they're sp3 hybridized or they're sp2 hybridized, both of these will be make the thing anti-aromatic. So the resonance stabilization is not preferred and the nitrogen is basic. 
And what about this one? Well, we have one, two, three, four, five, six electrons in the structure. So this and all of them are sp2 hybridized, so it's already aromatic. If we create resonance stabilization and move this lone pair over here to become a double bond or a pi bond, and move this over there, move this over there, move this over there, we can do that. But now we'll have eight electrons in the ring, and we don't want that because if, because there, if there's eight electrons, it'll be anti-aromatic because of the Huckel's rule, the 4n rule. So if we just keep it the way it is, this nitrogen will keep its lone pair out there, won't use it for resonance stabilization, and it will be basic. So that's all there is for today.